Guys, left-wingers are hilarious to me. They're just jaw-droppingly dumb. Uh, they sit there and they claim to be on the side of uh, science. You know, the scientific method, a.k.a. facts. A.k.a. facts over feelings. But the truth is, they like to sit in their little echo chambers and lie about right-wingers and say they're all Nazis so they don't have to listen to the other side, the other point of view, which may have some facts and knowledge, and they can compare and contrast their fact, compare and contrast their facts and knowledge with their facts and knowledge, and come to the ultimate truth. But they don't want to do that. Instead, they would like to just sit in their little echo chambers and believe that these are all bad people. They're all Nazis when they're not, and uh, just believe that worldview where they're in the right. Everything the left wingers say is right. And uh, everything the right wingers say is wrong and not care about facts and knowledge. That's what they like to do. They sit there, for example, show Joey salads with this uh, Nazi armband and claim that he's a Nazi. Okay. You may say he's a Nazi based on this alone, right? It's out of context, you idiot. I mean, I think, I think most people that are viewing this right now know that this is clearly out of context. What he was doing was doing a video where he was proving that if you wear Nazi uh, like armbands or like a Nazi flag or uh, have a Nazi hat or, or have Nazi apparel and uh, or just have Nazi beliefs and you enter a right wing uh, group, you'll be thrown out immediately because what he's trying to prove here in this social experiment is that right wingers hate Nazis. They're not Nazis. They hate Nazis. Again, right-wingers are not Nazis. They hate Nazis. Okay, that's what he was trying to prove. And uh, that's what his social experiment did prove. He was kicked out immediately. But they, they took this out of context and say he's a Nazi. And now they're saying this is a decision that this person made. They have that right to make this decision. And we have the right to expose them to their friends, family, and employers. That is a decision we can make. So they're, so they're calling to dox not only their friends, their families, but their employers to harass Joey Salads uh, and harass Joey Salads family, friends, and employers and uh, basically get them in trouble or lie about them over an out-of-context picture. An out-of-context picture that really proves that Joey Salads hates Nazis. Not, not that he likes Nazis, that he hates Nazis. So what do we have here? We have a bunch of left-wingers who supposedly hate Nazis outing a guy for hating Nazis. Like, how much sense does that even make? Now, look at this. So let me get this straight. You're going to dig up his family's friends and employers, dox them to the public so, you can, so they can be called and harassed. All over an out-of-context out of picture of a social experiment proving Republicans reject people who have Nazi views. Did I get that right? And of course I did. I, that's exactly what's going on here. And there's literally 81 quote tweets of people just believing this uh, without doing any research. They, they, they want to just make him famous, everyone. There, there's 80 goddamn uh, retweets like this. And there's going to be more tomorrow. And what's crazy, hey, LA, anyone want to identify this piece of shit? Uh, no mixed messaging here. The reminded this guy peed in his own mouth. Yeah, that was fucking disgusting. And this guy is uh, not the smartest guy in the world. He was doing a jackass bit when he did that, I believe. But uh, he's obviously not the smartest guy in the world. And I'm not saying I like Joey Salads, but I don't like him. I don't like his friends, family, 
and his uh, bosses and him being harassed over an out of context picture. He doesn't deserve that. Fuck this twat. Uh, dude, this is fucking nuts, dude. And people believe this bullshit without doing any research. Again, they do no research. They just believe what they want to believe. Now, does that sound like someone that believes in facts and knowledge and, and facts and logic and facts above feelings? No, that's someone that believes feelings over facts. And that's what the left wingers are. They, they only believe what they want to believe. They, they, Basically, they just regurgitate what they hear on mainstream media. They regurgitate what people in their little uh, echo chambers tell them without doing any research at all. No research. They just want to believe what they want to believe, and that's the end of it. Now, that's someone that believes in feelings over facts, and that's not somebody that believes in the scientific method, okay? If they really believe in the scientific method, they would go and try to see what, what the true story behind this is. Maybe this guy isn't a Nazi. Maybe this is an out-of-context picture. Maybe, just maybe, the right-wingers aren't all Nazis. Maybe we should listen to what they have to say. Maybe they have some uh, good points, too. Maybe we should compare their facts and knowledge with our facts and knowledge and come to the ultimate truth. But they don't want to do that. They want to sit there and believe that all right-wingers are Nazis, uh, the, the right-wingers are all fascists and they're taking over the America, and they all want to kill millions of people for no reason, and, and uh, the Nazis are back, baby. And they just want to believe whatever they fucking want to believe, dude. They don't care about facts at all. But they're the side that claims they do. And it's just nuts to me. It's just nuts to me. Um, what can I say? Uh, look at this. This is a video where, uh, uh, this, is, this is Mr. Dapper, and also known as Anarchy Ball. And he shows a picture of me behind a Nazi flag doing the Nazi salute. Now, here's the thing. I wasn't, uh, I wasn't playing myself in that video. I wasn't Mr. Dapper. Did. I was Steve Shives. I was proving that Steve Shives' beliefs uh, make him a Nazi. He's so anti-fascist that he becomes a fascist himself. Uh, and that's what that video was saying. It, basically, that the person that's the, the, the most anti-Nazi person that we all know of, Steve Shives, is in fact a Nazi. Uh, and, I, and I made a joke that he was a Nazi in that video playing him. And so what they ended up doing was taking that out of context, saying, oh, this is Mr. Dapperton, and this is what he truly believes. He's not playing Steve Shives uh, being a Nazi. He's playing himself being a Nazi. And he's, he's actually a Nazi. It's such bullshit, dude. Fuck the left. Okay, let me explain this in other words. If they argue against you and they compare their facts with your facts, they're going to lose. So they don't like to do that. Instead, they like to call you a Nazi or racist or sexist or homophobic or, or something uh, unflattering so people don't listen to you. So they don't have to argue against the facts with you. That way, they're not proven wrong, right? If they, if they say you're a bad person, they don't have to argue against you. And if they don't have to argue against you, they win automatically in the eyes of the people that are listening. Basically, in other words, they name call instead of, uh, you know, arguing their facts against your facts. Because they don't have any facts. You have all the facts. So what happens is they, they're going to lose look stupid. They don't want to do that. They'd rather just call you a mean name. So nobody listens to you whatsoever. And they win in the eyes of the people listening, everybody listening, right? Cause if you're a Nazi and, and the person listening believes that, well then what you have to say doesn't matter. Right? So, uh, yeah. So they just like to call you things that aren't true. And they like to say things that aren't true. Like, uh, they're on the side of facts and knowledge. And that's obviously not true. But they don't compare facts and knowledge with people. So uh, they don't have to prove that. And that's another thing they love doing. They, they love saying, oh, well, facts and knowledge are on my side. Well, th because they listen to scientists. Like, scientists can't be ever be bought off, for one. Uh, they can be bought off. And they, a lot of them are bought off. And some of them have different political views. Not all scientists are left-wing. Some scientists are right-wing and are on our side. But they don't listen to those ones. They only listen to the left-wing ones. And the left-wing ones, uh, they just take their word without any research whatsoever. They have no idea what they're even, 
with what they even have to say, other than someone that's in a higher command, somebody that has a hierarchy over them, is uh, is telling them to believe something. So they're automatically going to believe it, right? Just like the same thing when they're in echo chamber and their friends are telling them one thing, they're going to believe it without looking into it. Because uh, that's what they do. That's what left-wingers do. They love listening to people without doing research. That's why they fall for the mainstream media. That's just their style of, uh, of doing things in their head. And the reason why that's their style is because they know from experience, every time they argue the facts, they're left disappointed and they lose the whole conversation. Right? So if that's what happens every time you look into something or... Or every time you argue against the facts, you're disappointed and uh, you, you don't know the facts and you just look like an idiot. Yeah, you, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't look into the facts. You, you would just take people's word for it. And that's why they do that. That's, that's, they don't like being wrong, so they, they, they just listen to other people thinking that other people know better than them. But they don't. Those people are just listening to other people too. And they're all listening to each other lying to each other for example like the, the person who was lying about me he obviously saw my video right he saw my video that and he knew that i wasn't a nazi but he pretended that i was a nazi to fool his friends and his friends fell for it and the reason why he did that is because someone fooled him a long time ago lying about when someone lied about someone else and and he fell for it they all lied to each other and they all fall for their each other's lies like, for example, have you ever went into a left-wing Discord or a left-wing group chat and you just started talking to them and they immediately kick you out if you, if you disagree with them, right? Or if you spit facts at them, they don't like that shit because they have no way to defend against it. They don't know anything other than what people told them before, right? So when people sit there and, and basically point at them and say, look, you know nothing, all you know is what you heard. And they don't, like, they don't like that reality. It scares them because it lets them know that they're idiots. So they kick you out of their group chat. They'll, they'll, they'll kick, I've been kicked out of like almost every leftist group chat I've ever joined because I make them look at the facts and they don't like the facts because facts lead to the truth. And the truth is they've been wrong about everything. And they don't like that rabbit hole. They hate that rabbit hole. So they don't like to fucking even look into it. They, they, don't, they don't want to look into anything. So they would rather just listen to people that uh, reconfirm their worldview and uh, make them feel right and make them feel like they're smart. But they're not smart and they're not right. So <laughs> it's it just, it just funny to me, man. Uh, leftists are the most delusional people on the planet. Thank you for watching. If you really like this video, be sure to subscribe. Also, smash that like button and the bell button. If you really, really want to support the channel, then become a patron on Patreon. Even if you just donate $1 a month, it helps tremendously. Thanks for watching.